Gentlemen, do not be afraid to go up to a girl in a bar when she is hanging out with a group of her girlfriends. I know it can be intimidating to walk up to a group of girls that you don't know, but believe me, a girl is going to be a lot more comfortable talking to you when she's surrounded by her friends, not off alone on her way to the bathroom. Be polite to her friends, and if her friends think you're cool, they'll probably tell her, which is a win for you. All right, boys, I'm back with my subpar dating advice, and today we're going to be talking about how to approach a girl in just six easy steps. Step one. Okay, I'm just kidding. Actually, step one, ask yourself who, what, and why. Who is she with, what is she doing, and why is she here? These will all give you better context of the situation and help you figure out the best time to approach. Number two, come up with a conversation starter. The what and why can help you here. Come up with a common interest. Maybe you're watching the same thing on TV. You don't want to ask for her number within the first few questions. Number three, garner up that confidence and approach her. If you're not feeling confident, you can only bring a friend, but only do this if she's not alone. If not, she's just going to feel ganged up on. And remember, if you're the one approaching the girl, it is not her responsibility to carry the conversation. Number four, establish a positive conversation. Jumping in too quickly and just trying to figure out a bunch of information about her is only going to make her feel uncomfortable. It'll also reduce your chances of a favorable outcome. Number five, compliment her. This will switch the conversation from casual to I'm interested in you. Number six, if she accepts it without hesitation or even offers one back, now's the time to exchange contact information. If she's not interested, she'll let you know right then and there. When to approach a woman you find attractive. Always. A confident man who knows what he wants goes for it. It doesn't matter if he's rejected, he goes for it anyway. And you should too if you wanna be seen as confident. If you wanna approach a girl at a party and you're unsure what to say, don't overthink it. You don't need the perfect line. The easiest thing is just to walk up and say, hi, I'm Blaine, I don't think we've met before. So gents, do you wanna know the exact signs that women show when they want you to approach? Well, you came to the right place. This is Gentlemen and Scholars where we discuss dating style and personal development. So if you're into becoming a better version of yourself, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. We release new videos daily at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So for today's topic, we're going over the 10 choosing signals that women show when they're expecting you to approach. But first and foremost, what are choosing signals? Well, choosing signals, those are indicators of interest that women send out to men that are signs that the woman may be interested and may even want you to approach. But what's really important, and you know, I've mentioned this previously, but it's worth restating, you know, it's really important to check for clusters. So what I mean by clusters is that you don't just see one sign, you see several signs in succession, and this can give you great confidence that she does in fact want you to approach. So with that out the way, let's get into the signs that women show when they're expecting you to approach. So for choosing signal number one, this is going to be strong eye contact. Gents, this is very powerful. If you're getting strong eye contact from women, this is a very good choosing signal, particularly if they hold it for an extended period of time. This means that they want you to see that they're looking at you and you know, nine times out of 10, they're hoping that you do something about it, particularly if it's in a cluster. So I mentioned this previously, but again, it's worth restating. If you see a woman give you strong eye contact like that, the next thing that you should do is you should smile at her. You want to see what she does. You know, does she quickly look away? You know, does she smile back at you? Um, does she start blushing? These are little things that you want to pay attention to. And the idea here is that it will help you to gauge her interest. So, you know, you'll be able to see these signs. You'll be able to see where her interest is at. And then you can make a decision as to whether you want to go approach whether you rather hang back, you know, it's really up to you, but the idea is you wanna get clear on where her interest is at. So for sign number two, that is going to be dilated eyes. So gents, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before where a woman's eyes are just wide eyed. You know, if you've seen other signs and then you see her with dilated wide eyes like that, that's a very good sign. You know, if you're on a date, this can give you really good confidence that things are going really well. But, you know, we're talking about approaching here, right? So, you know, if you see her and let's say she makes eye contact with you, 
and then her eyes kind of widen when she first sees you just off first glance that's definitely something to pay attention to and you know if you see other signs like you know maybe she smiles right afterwards this can give you confidence that okay this woman more than likely is interested and i wouldn't hesitate to go make an approach see a lot of you guys struggle because you know when you see these type of signs you take time and you kind of wait and you know uh, you kind of build up the courage to kind of go and make that approach no you want to make that approach quickly when you see something like this I would say that you want to do that within three seconds because the more you wait the more likely that she's going to lose attraction and you know just not be interested altogether and then when you finally go up to her you know you'll be scratching your head like hey i thought all the signs were there or you know prince he was telling me you know to to pay attention to these signs i paid attention to those signs and it didn't work out well you can't hesitate if you hesitate more than likely things are not going to go your way so anyway for sign number three that is going to be smile so again we spoke about this right so if you see a woman and she smiles at you after let's say holding long eye contact this is a great sign this is more than likely invitation and you should if you're interested in her too, go over and make that approach there's nothing wrong with doing that, but you want to make sure that you do it quickly. So for number four, this is going to be continued glances. So, you know, if you look at a woman and let's say maybe she's shy, right? She might look away quickly and act as though she wasn't looking at you or, you know, like you weren't even there. But if she, you know, continues to look in your direction, even after that, you know, there's continued glances so on and so forth, there's a good chance that she is in fact interested in you and I would look for other signs, but you know, this could mean that she is waiting for you to make that approach. So for sign number five on the list, that is going to be that she is fixing her appearance. You know, so if you're out and you know, you look at a woman, she looks back at you and then, you know, maybe seconds later she starts fixing herself, maybe she starts you know, playing with her hair, Maybe she starts, you know, putting on a little lip balm, so on and so forth. Nine times out of 10, there is some attraction there, particularly if you saw some other signs and, you know, you saw that cluster. So, you know, she could be hoping that you go over and make that approach. And this could be her way of making sure that she looks good for you. So definitely something that pay attention to. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, subscribe to join the Gentlemen and Scholars family and consider checking out the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website free resources, gentlemen and scholars merch, book recommendations, consultation services, and our free gentlemen and scholars ultimate handbook. Well, you'll learn personal development tips on how to build a successful life and become the gentleman of your dreams, style tips to develop an eye-catching, attractive, and unique personal avatar, and dating tips to attract, court, and keep the woman of your dreams. Visit the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for more. Now back to the video. So piggybacking on the aforementioned, you know, if she's revealing sensitive parts of her body to you, this could mean that there is some interest there. You know, one that you'll often see is the, you know, hair twirl where she'll flip her hair and then reveal her neck to you. This is the area that releases pheromones and is very attractive to men. When they're revealing areas like, you know, the neck and, you know, the under part of the wrist, which also releases pheromones, this is a good sign and I would definitely look for other signs, but you know, she could in fact be hoping that you go over and make that approach. So for number seven, that is going to be that her body is positioned toward you. So, you know, if you receive this choosing signal, this is a great one. Um, you know, people, they tend to be positioned towards uh, the things that they find most interesting. And in the case of women, the people that they tend to find most attractive, so if she's shifting her body to make sure that she's positioned towards you, um, this could be an indicator of interest. I would definitely look for some other signs, but she could be hoping that you notice this, that you pick up on what she's putting down and you go over and make an approach. So for choosing a signal number eight, that a woman is expecting you to approach, that is going to be proximity. So, you know, if you look over and a woman smiles in your direction, don't be surprised if 10, 15 minutes later, she comes over and, you know, is right in your line of sight. Let's say you're at the gym and, you know, she's picking up weights right in front of you or 
she's hopping on a bench right next to you, whatever the case may be, um, just to make sure that she made it really easy for you to go and make that approach if you do decide to. So this is something that very commonly happens. So if you see that, definitely take note of that um, and pay attention. You know, maybe there were some other signs that you can kind of look and pick up on there. But if she does this, I would look for those other signs. And if you are seeing those indicators of interest, I would not hesitate to go make an approach. So number nine on the list of choosing signals that indicate that a woman is hoping that you go and approach, that is going to be a long lingering touch. So here's what I mean by this one. You know, I'll give a quick example. You know, there was one time I was out with my guys at the bar. Um, you know, we ended up having a really good time, ended up having a few drinks. But, you know, it got a little late and we were headed on our way out. But as I was making my way towards the exit, a woman actually rubbed her hand down the side of my arm. And it was a touch, but it was a touch that kind of lingered. And this was a clear indication to me that she wanted me to, you know, go and make an approach. And it was funny, she kind of uh, posed after she did it when I looked back to see who it was. But, you know, she wasn't really my type, so I just kind of smiled and chuckled and went out the front door. But this is something that you may see, and if you see something like that, um, that's a very obvious sign that you can go right up to her and make an approach. I mean, she was wide open at that point. I will say this one is a little bit more rare. I mean, this was kind of in a bar or a club setting, so you know, when you're in those type of environments, women tend to be a little bit more aggressive. So you know, that's something that you may see in that environment, but. Outside of that, you might see women bumping into you. You might see them, um, you know, finding little uh, reasons to touch you. And it might only be for a short um, amount of time, but it's definitely something to pay attention to if they feel comfortable enough to touch you. And last but not least, for choosing signal number 10 that she's expecting you to come and approach, that is going to be a licking lips. So if a woman is licking her lips at you and, you know, she's maintaining her eye contact and you know you know she's looking at you this is a very good choosing signal and nine times out of ten she wants you to come and do something about it so again this one is a little bit more rare but it has happened to me so definitely something for you gents to pay attention to but you know with that i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up if you do have any questions for me definitely feel free to give a shout definitely make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel and definitely let us know down below in the comment section you know did we leave any out you know there's some other choosing signals that you've seen that women show that they are in fact interested or want you to approach definitely let us know in the comment section down below and definitely make sure that you check out the Gentleman and Scholar's Ultimate Handbook that goes over dating, style, and personal development tips to 10x your progress. You know, I really love the mindset uh, tips that it gives you guys to kind of get past any you know hurdles or blocks that you're dealing with, or you know maybe some of that negative self-talk that you're dealing with. You know, it really goes through comprehensive steps to get past that and start making progress in those areas. So I highly encourage you guys to check that out. You can actually get it for free. Yes, I said for free on the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website. That's gentlemenandscholarsclub.com. All you have to do is enter your name and email and it downloads right then and there. But you know, with that, until next time, Gentlemen and Scholars. Hey gents, hope you enjoyed the video. And check out the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for our free Gentlemen and Scholars Ultimate Handbook, free resources, book recommendations, consultation services, and some pretty slick Gentlemen and Scholars merch. GNS hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, notebooks, and so much more. Until next time, Gentlemen and Scholars. Hey gents, if you enjoyed this video, check out some bespoke video recommendations here and here. And subscribe to join the Gentlemen and Scholars Club.